Okay, so this topic goes for like every artist out there, right? Not every artist can do the style that you want. Hey guys, it's Chelsea here at Inked Korea and have you ever wondered why you saw somebody with a really bad tattoo even though the artist was recommended? Well, let's talk about that. So not all artists can do what you want. That goes for every artist, even not like in Korea. Like if you're in America or in Canada or Australia, if a tattoo artist specializes in a certain style, then that's their style. So the best thing to do is go to an artist that knows the style that you want. There's so many different styles, so make sure you guys know exactly like when you come to me or you go to the artist, when you say I want a butterfly, there's like a million ways you could do a butterfly. So make sure you know what kind of style you like. Do you like a color? Do you like a realistic? Do you want a 3D tattoo? Do you want it in watercolor? Do you want it like a like a K style where it's like big bright chunky chunky tattoo pieces? Um, so you have to know exactly what you want. I much rather have an artist that is specializing in the style that I want tattoo me, right? In Korea, the popular tattoo is the mini tattoos, uh, the tiny tats, whatever you want to call them. Um, a lot of artists in Korea can do this style. That's how they learn. So if you're thinking about getting one of those tiny tattoos, well, I think that you're probably okay with most artists that you go to. Um, but if you're looking to get a big realistic tattoo or something special like a Japanese style tattoo, you want to make sure you go to the artist that can do that style. When you guys contact me, I will give you a list of artists that um, do the style that you want and from there it will be easier to narrow it down to what tattoo artist you'll be picking. Okay, I'm going to give you some examples. So as you can see on the screen, this is Nadi. She's a very famous tattoo artist here in Korea and she specializes in her style. A lot of artists try to do her style but actually she is the only one that can do her style. Alright, here's another example. Here's Kay Lee. Kay Lee does this really, really cool bright tattoo with the bubbly colors and most of the stuff is done with like animals and things like that. There's nobody that can do that style. At least that's what I think. I haven't found a tattoo artist that can do Kay Lee's style because that's his, that's Kay's style. I actually have a few of his tattoos which I love so much and I get complimented on them all the time and I have to tell everybody that they have to go all the way to Korea to get tattooed. <laughs> You guys can do your research on the different styles. There's so many different styles out there. You can do your research on the styles on Instagram or Pinterest, or even you can stop by the Inked Korea uh, group and look at some of the artists that I post every day. Another thing to think about is prices. Maybe some are a little bit Instagram famous or in, like on the internet famous, and they can charge more because they can. People are lining up at the door, so they can charge whatever they want. But on average, most tattoo artists in Korea charge about the same. If you're thinking about getting a big tattoo, maybe a full sleeve, most of those artists charge like by day, or they can charge by hour. I've seen people, some of the artists charge for like 200,000 won to 250,000 won per hour. These are like the top notch guys um, and they usually do like a session, like you get like four or five hours with that and then you kind of just chip away at doing your full sleeve. If you guys want to just get a tiny tattoo, maybe like a tiny little heart or like a script, usually those tattoos start at 100,000 won which is about 90 US dollars and they can range up to 150,000 won which is about 120 US dollars, that's for color. Those are the little tiny ones. Don't just go to an artist because they're cheap though. Um, luckily, I'm going to send you to some quality artists, but if you don't have enough money to get the tattoo, just wait until you have enough because this tattoo is going to be on your body your whole life. So make sure you get to uh, a tattoo that is going to be something that you don't mind paying $200 because it's on your body the rest of your life and it's going to look better <laughs> if you go to a quality artist versus someone that's not. Alright guys, don't forget to subscribe. This week's question I'm going to ask to you guys, what tattoo do you have on your body? Please just put it down in the comment. I want to see all the different tattoos that you have. And if you can fit it in the comments, let me know the story behind it. I love hearing that kind of stuff. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me on Cacao Talk at Inked Korea. Or you can contact me on Facebook at Yo Pickles. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for listening. Bye bye.